Hey guys, so here is the um, uh, full review, I'll call it to match pairs. I'll try to review all the uh, methods and the connection between the methods um, about match pairing transistors. Um, first of all, <coughs> uh, the first method I'm using it's a uh, the fan method so let's see I put the um, uh, the circuit of the matching and I put a fan in front of it um, uh, this method is the first one to use um, I, I, I use this method to find uh, some average um, uh, matching I'll show you in, in a minute uh, and then I move to uh, some um, uh, uh, test with the chamber uh, I'm closing the chamber and then I do the coupling like this so let's do something uh, for the test and, and this is how I do it so I put the first one uh, for a reference the first transistor I put it on the left because I'm right hand and it's more uh, comfortable to me so I put it on the left side and you see uh, on the meter it's not uh, reading nothing uh, when I put uh, another one against it you'll see it's start to reading and it's going down pretty slow now the fan method here is come to help us with this speed um, first of all uh, if I open the fan you'll see the drop vo voltage will be very fast um, but it will be average because the fan is never will give us uh, um, uh, the same temperature exactly for each one it will blow uh, in random uh, 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 action I'll call it so you, you see it's dropping down and it can wait and it's very uh, good to measure it like this but it's very slow so uh, the uh, way I'm using it it's open the fan a little bit now it's working and a bit faster you'll see the numbers dropping pretty fast now now I want to give you some tips about the the average and about processing the match pair so you can see uh, in this this um, two uh, transistors is pretty close to match if i'll uh, um, turn up the um, fan a little bit and i'll blow it on them very straight i might get a zero not for sure but very close very close here is, i'm getting zero right now but this is average this is for doing very fast and to get uh, the numbers uh, to drop down very fast so i leave the fan uh, on and i'm changing until i find something that is very very close to the zero like here uh, when i'm finding something that is close to the zero like here i'm turn off the fan and I'm closing the chamber now you'll see uh, the numbers will start to uh, drop a little bit more or if you're in the minus it will go to the zero if you're on the as plus it will uh, rise up like here now you'll see a few uh, tens of microvolt rising up 
because the temperature is stabilizing and it's more uh, precise measurement so uh, this is what I found it's all the time when I close the chamber the uh, um, I got a little bit few more I got some more uh, micro amps microvolts sorry um, and this is not a match pair so uh, the good way is to to put this test for a few minutes because sometimes you can see a zero uh, but after five or six or more a little bit more you'll see some drop here for uh, or uh, rise rise up for a five uh, I'm looking here to get maximum five zero five and uh, this is a uh, 15 50 um, microvolts uh, this is the what recommended for uh, match pairs uh, between 0 to 15 microvolt uh, uh, different differential uh, or difference um, now you see this is 12 so when I found the match pair uh, I'll move this out when I found the match pair uh, let's do it uh, uh, together I'll show you uh, I'll open it uh, and we'll do the thermal uh, coupling together I'll show you how it's work so this is one of uh, uh, one from a match pair and this is one just a second spreading the legs here okay and this is two now you see the voltage is uh, four three uh, um, millivolts let's open the fan it will drop it very fast now because I know it's a match pair um, let's try just to simulate I'll stop it before it's uh, coming to zero a little bit let's say something like 200 or 150 microvolts now it's going to be stabilized and now I'll, I'll close the chamber and give it some time to be stabilized you see it's going down to zero but like I said before give it some time from now to see if it's staying on, on zero or it cross it to the plus or on the minus uh, if it's cross it it's not a match pair be sure the next uh, um, uh, the next text test I do after I see it's a it's a stable on zero it's uh, taking this small uh, it's a copper sticker um, a strip of a copper sticker and I just couple them together I'll try to do it here uh, for the example okay So I'm doing it this way first and then I take the other one I hope you'll see it fine and I put them together and now I just warp them together okay there you go and then I try to put them. This is not a good AC 
uh, uh, the icy socket is not so good for it. I'm uh, right now trying to design some PC board for this with a more close uh, socket. But it sits okay, I think. Yes, now you can see it's running to the 1517, it's getting stable. And we'll wait a little bit and we can also close the chamber to keep the uh, temperature uh, stabilized and also it will warm up the temperature inside in um, uh, in a closed place so it's keeping on the same temperature oh let's turn it on and it will be on zero this if i see um, matching with this coupling of temperature uh, um, a coupling or a thermal coupling uh, I, I find it uh, like like working match or match, match pair um, and this is the process I'm doing it one by one it's taking some time uh, so don't rush take it easy it's uh, take some time to find a very good match like this um, I'm trying sometimes to open it to see if the air it's uh, um, making any difference when it's open because <clears throat> in the circuit you know it's not gonna be with the the this coupling and it's gonna be um, separated but close to another component so I'm trying to uh, simulate uh, the best uh, simulation I can do so this is a very nice match and this is the way to do it i hope you enjoy it you can ask any question to give a comment like uh, follow me or whatever and uh, thank you for watching enjoy bye